Hi there, welcome back to E3 2013, and I'm joined by official PlayStation Magazine's deputy editor, Joel Gregory, who has been to see Killzone Shadowfall on PS4. Uh, Joel, tell us about it. What was it like? It's good. See and play. Uh, I got about 20, 25 minutes worth of hands-on, uh, a mission quite near the start of the game. Um, it looks really, really lovely, as you'd expect from a Killzone game and an X-Gen Killzone game. Um, it was a little bit different to Killzones of the past. It wasn't as linear, for one thing. There's actual colour to it now. There's greens and blues, and it's, it's quite lush. Uh, and there's a, a lot of new tech in there. There's a new... You've got a sort of drone friend who's called the Owl. Um, so basically, it's a drone that you can deploy. It has four modes. Uh, and you to switch between modes, you swipe the little touchpad on the PS4 controller. Actually works really nicely, so you can tell it to go into attack mode. It'll go off and just shoot people. You can send it to do like a pulse attack, which is like an area thing, which knocks people out so you can attack them. You can get it to put up a shield in front of you, which you can shoot through, but the uh, bad guys can't. Uh, and what else can you get it to do? Oh yeah, you can get it to make zip lines, so you can get down from uh, high places or um, across gaps and stuff like that. Basically gives you different ways of tackling a given situation. So the level I was playing was a, a really quite wide expanse. It wasn't corridors anymore. And you know, using Mr. Owl uh, and the tools at your disposal, you can tackle it kind of any way you want. Fantastic. And previous Killzone games always felt like very, quite sort of heavy. You know, like you're you're driving a tank almost, really chunky. And that, that has come under some criticism, some people like it, but how does this one feel in comparison? Does it still feel have a, have a heavy feel to it, or does it feel a bit lighter on its feet? It's quite chunky and like driving a tank. I don't think they want to get rid of that. I think that this is something which, as you say, some people don't like it, but it distinguishes Killzone from a lot of shooters. You know, you are a big guy wearing a big suit, um, and it's still big and it's still heavy. However, you're not quite as all guns blazing this time. I did a, a stealth section. Uh, you've got this cool device where you tap up on the D-pad, and it sounds like a an echo pulse uh, and it allows you to see kind of the outlines of the bad guys uh, around you so you can plan stealth attacks and stuff like that so they're kind of adding to the gameplay mechanics but not stripping away the, the kind of bare essentials of a kill zone game